Hey there, Zach with Colony Roofers uh, out here today helping a client taking a look at a flat roof for them. Wanted to do a quick video and walk you through how a flat roof drains. Uh, this is a perfect roof for a few different situations that we've got going on. There's a little bit of ponding on the roof. So we'll go ahead and dive in and take a look at uh, how a flat roof drains and what the issues are on this specific one. So we're here at the low point of this roofing system. There are three main ways that you're gonna see a flat roof, uh, especially a TPO or another single ply EPDM PVC roof drain. This one happens to be through scuppers. Uh, anytime you see a scupper, you're typically gonna see an overflow drain, which is what's right next to it. A scupper is simply a low point uh, where we're trying to push all of the water to that area and then have it go through this wall right here. This is called a parapet wall. It's gonna go through the wall into a gutter uh, downspout. There'll be a conductor box at the top of that. And then from the downspout, obviously it will either flow underground if they have underground drainage or it'll just flow onto the concrete down at the bottom. So you can tell from this system right here that we have ponding going on around the scupper. It's not super uncommon to see ponding around a scupper. What you definitely don't want to see is where the ponding happens um, you know, away from the scupper to a point where it's clear the water is not getting off the roof and it's sitting before it gets to the scupper. The roof is raised up maybe a half inch above the scupper. And so there, there's basically a bump up in this area right here where the water ponds here and is not able to actually make its way to the scupper. The scupper itself appears to be lower than this part of the roof. So there's something going on here, maybe structurally, even with the wood framing on this building that's caused this wall, uh, the base of, of the wall right here to be a little bit higher than the field is right here. So I just wanted to show really quick, this is where we've got that overflow drain and the scupper that we were talking about. Uh, you may be able to see just from this, this little video, the scupper obviously is just a little bit higher than the rest of the roof. Uh, and, and specifically the area just in front of the scupper is a little bit higher than the rest of the roof. Then over here we have an overflow drain and the overflow drain is, is kind of think of it like the drain in your uh, bathroom sink or kitchen sink where if there was to be just a torrential downpour on this roof, it makes it so that the building wouldn't flood and, uh, or hopefully at least min minimize flooding and not fill up with water. So uh, those, those drains typically don't uh, run into a gutter system, um, although they can. Uh, but that's what those are. You, you'll typically see a scupper and a overflow drain side by side on a lot of roof systems. And you can see on this one, there's even another scupper uh, right next to this one with a center cricket here that runs um, kind of perpendicular to that overflow drain. So the next thing we're going to do, though, is go ahead and cut another core sample and figure out is this slope to this section of the roof uh, related to that structural framing? Or is there maybe some insulation that we can play with a little bit? to get this thing sloping and get the water off the roof. So I'm gonna go ahead and run another core sample right here. We've got our guide and pretty straightforward. We're just gonna drill this down real quick. Okay, so we're down to the bottom there. I can feel wood. And then I'm gonna go ahead and pull this out and we'll take a look. That felt like about three inches again, which tells me that it's most likely that the metal framing is, or I'm sorry, the, the wood framing is what is sloped here all right so when this comes out we'll see that we have basically the exact same system exact same system as the other side okay so we've got about three inches of polyiso foam with tpo fully adhered on top of it. you can see the tpo on this one actually is is so adhered that we're basically in one piece here so the bonding adhesive is holding really well on this TPO, which is always a good thing to see. That means that there's enough adhesive and it hasn't broken down. So what that tells us is we actually have a tapered deck in this situation. And so our, our wood deck underneath this uh, roofing system is what's creating this slope. That creates a little bit of complexity for us trying to change what type of slope there is on the roof because we don't have as much control over the insulation. You know, it's really the structure of the building is what's creating the slope. So we'll kind of have to go back to the drawing board and think a little bit about, you know, what can we do with this? We may have to even shave down with an engineer's, um, you know, approval 
uh, some of the structural wood that's there. Obviously, we're not trying to compromise the integrity of the building, but uh, I already happen to know on this specific building that's probably going to be where we end up to go ahead and get this water off the roof and make sure this roof lasts as long as possible. So the two other types of roof drainage systems that you'll see that are really common, one is going to be just roof drains. So we literally could have a system where instead of this roof being sloped to the scuppers and trying to get the water off the roof, for one reason or another, it's sloped to the middle or uh, to different areas on the roof. And those areas actually have a drain. So for instance, we could have Let's just say that our roof goes, this is the beginning and that's the other side of it. So this is one wall, that's the other wall. We could have a drain directly in the middle and that drain could be where all of this roof slopes to. Uh, there's a variety of reasons they might do that, but typically that'll then go into internal plumbing and then out the building at some point down, you know, by the curb at the side of the building where all the storm sewer uh, water needs to go. The third type would be just a traditional gutter system. In, in a traditional gutter system drainage, uh, or, or a drainage system that involves a traditional gutter on a flat roof system. Typically, you'll have a roof sloping one direction on each facet. So this roof that we're on right now, now you can't see the rest of it, but it slopes to this scupper here. Then uh, as we get over there, there's actually a crest, a ridge in the roof, and then there's other scuppers on the other side. So it, it, it is a multi-directional roof and it has crickets, which is this kind of configuration here that's pushing the water to the scuppers. And we'll look at crickets a little bit more in, in just a minute. But on a guttered system roof, uh, typically it's just gonna be one direction. You may see crickets on a, on a system that has gutters. Uh, it just depends if they need to direct water away from a wall or away from a roof penetration, like a vent or even be a large pipe. But uh, those are really the three main types of roof drainage systems that you'll come across. Uh, there are others out there, but those are going to be 90, 95% of what you see. So let's talk about roof crickets. Crickets are a really important part of a flat roofing system. And specifically the one we're looking at right now uh, has approximately a quarter inch per foot of slope to it. We've done core samples and know that that roof slope is created largely by the roof deck or exclusively by the roof deck. That's with the exception of the crickets though. So a cricket is going to be an area on the roof where the main roof slope is going to be going in a different direction from where we need the water to go. So you can see right here it's almost a triangular shape that I'm kind of standing in the middle of. The scupper is down there past the second kind of dirty ponded area that you can see. We also have a ponding area at one of the higher points on the cricket. So this cricket is actually designed using roofing insulation. Polyiso is what's on this roof, and that's what this cricket is constructed with. It's basically insulation that tapers in whatever direction, whatever rate is needed to create this cricket. There's a lot of manufacturers that actually have tapered solutions groups that will design these things and uh, engineers get involved in and all that sort of stuff. Uh, you typically see it on architectural plans when a building is first built. But nonetheless, this one has some issues and it, it's uh, unknown as to why exactly this, this system is failing at some of the high points, but that's what we're here to fix. And so no matter whether this was maybe originally installed incorrectly or maybe the insulation got wet at some point and compressed, we don't know exactly what caused it. What we do know is we have three inch insulation at the high points, three inch insulation at the low points, meaning we have a tapered roof deck. And so now my goal is to kind of assess this and say, is there a way for me to create enough slope to get the water out of these high areas and to the scupper? Based on just looking at this at, at first glance, I think we have a good chance to maybe replace some of this insulation, maybe even redesign this cricket a little bit. Um, we may make this area steeper. The difficulty is some of that is, is uh, some, some of where the ponding is, most of where the ponding is, is actually on the side where the insulation is, is kind of the main uh, slope. So we may have to look at a, at a variety of options. We may, uh, in this situation, very well end up going, you know, we said we have three inches at the high point, three inches at the low point. So if we have three inches here, we may even be able to go from three down to an inch or so as we get close to the scupper. We'll just have to work with the engineer on this one and see what the specific plan is and what he's comfortable with from a building code standpoint and from a uh, engineer, engineering standpoint.
But that's the point of the cricket. The cricket is pushing the water away from this wall right here and trying to get it to the place where it can get off the roof, which is the scupper, get it into the downspout, get the water off the roof. That's the point of the cricket.